adding solar panels to the roof of my shed. Yeah, this one. The cable trench, yeah, it was a pain to dig, but I managed to find this rock. I could then route the cable into my shed. Now aiming for the garage, I pushed all the cable through this conduit. I could then do the drilling at a slight angle, cover up my tracks as well as I could. The solar panels are connected electrically in pairs. It doesn't mean you have to bring them up like this on the roof. It's, my God. 1600 watts of solar will be charging this 14 kilowatt hour, 48 volt battery. Super clean, link in the description. Here's the MPPT that converts the electricity from the panels to charge the battery. Connect the solar panel wires with them disconnected, of course. Let's focus on the inverter and just like that, we can go ahead and connect all the wires to the battery. With this breaker off, I can do all the connections without ever handling high voltage. Now turn on the solar panels and switch the breaker on the battery. Now wait, here's the best part. And with the help from this type of switch, you guys, connected to the inverter, it's also connected to an outlet. We can go ahead and unplug that for now, and you can see the battery runs the 3D printer no problem. Now, if we go ahead and plug that back in, now, what happens if the battery runs all the way down to zero? It automatically switches over to an outlet. So that way you can run, cycle your battery and in the morning the solar panels kicks in, charges up the battery and that's how I run my 3D printers with solar. Pretty cool.